Uh, in this video I'm going to show you one way of making nanotubes known as arc discharge. Arc is electric arc that we are talking about. You either have possibility of using carbon electrodes or metal electrodes. Uh, in the case of carbon electrodes, uh, the cathode and anode are made out of graphite. They are extremely close to each other. And then it's connected to, to a battery, so the cat, uh, not a battery, I'm sorry, to an AC current, and the negative. Uh, now, the source of the nanotube itself is the anode. The anode is going to be vaporized, and you're going to put make this rod-shaped of uh, nanotubes being accumulated on it. So the electrodes are made out of graphite. Graphite is the source of the nanotubes and part of anode vaporizes to form those nanotubes. So this is the arc discharge using carbon electrodes. And uh, for, for the one with use of um, metal electrodes, you have the same thing. You have a positive electricity source and negative alternating of course instead of a carbon graphite we have two metals nickel extremely close to each other and this time we have a solvent a hydrocarbon solvent toluene is a benzene with a methyl group attached to it so toluene is this you could also use cyclohexane instead now what happens there is a these two electrodes are close to each other once it's connected to electricity there will be a spark here there will be an arc and and what the toluene is going to decompose and you're going to at your anode you're going to make this rod shape nanotubes sort of being produced at anode let me so the things that you need to remember for arc discharge using metal electrodes the metals are made out of nickel, for example. The solvent is a hydrocarbon, such as toluene or cyclohexane. Uh, the liquid toluene or the liquid cyclohexane is the source of your nanotubes, and nanotubes get produced at anode. And also remember, by definition, in oxidation reduction, anode was always site of oxidation. So if they challenge you on that in this segment, in this option, also be able to answer elementary questions like that.